Hi, this is Masood Batendus, broker with the Batendus Sears team at Keller Williams Energy Real Estate. Welcome to our monthly market update. This month, we are going to do a slight uh, um, change in our presentation. We are using Zoom. And uh, I have uh, Doug uh, Sears, uh, one of my partners, on the call with me to give us a, a better perspective of uh, the market from the buyer's point of view. Uh, Doug has been working with a number of buyers recently and uh, he can uh, give us a little bit more information about that. So uh, before we go forward, uh, Doug, if you could uh, just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself and we'll go to the graphs. Well, hello everyone. I'm uh, excited to be joining the uh, monthly uh, market uh, update. Uh, I've been with the team now for uh, almost three years and uh, after a long uh, 30 plus year career at GM, I retired and joined the team and uh, I'm happy, uh, happy to be here. Great. So Doug, let's have a look at the first graph and you can probably talk on that graph. It's a number of homes uh, sold. Um, so let's have a look at that. Yeah, so uh, the number of homes sold for this year in, in 2020 is in red. And so in November, we, uh, we had 1,088 homes that sold. And that's uh, about a 25% increase over November of last year, which was 872. Um, in addition, uh, the number of new listings uh, that came on the market in November was uh, 1,042. So, um, and so we'll go on to the next one. Okay, so that uh, shows the price of uh, homes or average price of homes in Durham. And again, the red line is uh, 2020. And we can see that the average price of uh, homes in Durham region was $762,739 versus 611,872 last year. And again, that's about 25% increase year over year on the price of homes, which is um, unprecedented, but uh, due to shortage of supply and um, uh, the high demand that we have for homes, uh, that's what's causing the increase in the prices. So let's uh, go to the third graph, Doug, that uh, shows uh, supply and demand. Yeah, so this chart is the ratio of sold homes to new listings that have just come on the market. And uh, for the month of November uh, in 2020, shown in red, was just over 100%. Um, and uh, uh, it just shows that more homes sold than um, that came on the market that month and a very strong month, uh, very much a seller's market. Really anything over the 65% level would be a seller's market. Um, and it just shows uh, why, or uh, supports why the pricing is as uh, high as it uh, is. And towards the end of the year, it's very normal that we see a, a large increase as we head to the end of the year, less homes go on the market uh, since they're waiting until the new year to, to go on to the market. And, uh, but uh, it is showing that it is a very strong market right now. Great. Um, Doug, can you talk a bit about the buyers? I know the sellers are uh, uh, in a very good position at the moment uh, for every home that comes on the market. We get numerous offers on the home and we go into multiple offers and invariably the sellers get more than what uh, the ask price is. Um, What's the market looking from the buyer's point of view? Yeah, so for, for a buyer, it's very challenging. Um, and it just has to be seen as a, a journey. Um, and you just have to keep moving forward and trying to be successful in buying a home when you have multiple offers and there's either there's four or 10 or 18 home, uh, offers on a particular home, only one buyer can actually be successful and buy the home and the others have to keep looking. And so it is a challenge. And I think what's important is that the buyers are clear on what they're looking for. They're clear on what their budget is um, and not get caught up um, in, in uh, the multiple offers um, so that you don't overpay or pay more than what your budget can, can handle. Um, but it is just a, a matter of ha having patience 
and uh, continuing to try and, and work through that. But it is certainly a challenge for buyers to, uh, to find a home right now. Right. And the market is continuing to go up, as we've seen from the numbers. Uh, Durham region is still affordable, uh, especially from people coming from uh, uh, West and coming from GTA. Uh, they kind of believe the price of homes here. So they are uh, uh, they don't mind paying a bit more for the house, obviously, because they think it's a bargain. Um, and also, there are a couple of things happening uh, in the area that is going to affect the price of homes. One is the OPG's building that we can see from 401. Um, that is going to be having about 2,000 jobs by 2024, which is all the non-station-based uh, uh, employees from Toronto and Niagara coming to Clarington. Uh, and also the recent announcement uh, by GM uh, that uh, they are opening the plant again and Doug is definitely you're not going back to GM you are <laughs> you are staying <laughs> um, anything you want to say about that uh, Doug yeah so the numbers that uh, we've heard uh, announced uh, is uh, between 2,000 to 2,500 people are going to be hired on for the plant uh, so that certainly is similar to the OPG a uh, real boost to the economy and uh, should uh, increase the demand uh, as well as we go forward. Great. Um, obviously, every case is different. Uh, we see different uh, things happening in different segments of the market, first time buyers, second time buyers, uh, luxury homes and so on. Everything is different. So uh, we'd be more than happy to sit down with you individually if you are buying or selling and discuss your particular situation. So if you want to do that one-on-one, -on -one, uh, please do not hesitate to call us. And uh, we, these days, either Zoom call or in person, uh, we are uh, doing both uh, depending on the client's uh, requirement. And we'd be happy to do that uh, for you as well. So on that note, uh, we'd like to uh, get the team over to yeah. wish everybody um, a uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and, and a Happy New, New Year. Year. And Happy New Year. Bye. Bye.